Good morning, folks. Today we have to cover the solar storm, which was late but strong. Another X-class solar flare, the CME heading for Earth, Hurricane Milton, and a mega comet visible on satellites coming between the Earth and the Sun. Let's go to the last 24 hours on our star where bottom right, you'll see a flash. That's another X-class solar flare released by the now departing sunspots. Afterwards, a filament releases nearby in a southern direction. The filament eruption is going to miss Earth, but that's unlikely to be the case for the flare-driven CME. It reached X2 on the flare rating, strong and long duration event. The departing spots on the south released the eruption due to interacting umbral magnetic fields in the extremely large and complex departing group there. CME is visible on SOHO, but there's also something else. While that CME is leaving the sun, you see a very bright object coming in from the right. That is Comet Atlas, A3. And it's basically the brightest comet on SOHO since Comet Neat more than 20 years ago. Starting with the CME event, it is largely aimed away from the Earth, but it was a wide burst, and the Enlil spiral shows it hitting our planet with a glancing blow right after it impacts the comet itself. Eyes open in the second half of this week for impact and more geomagnetic storms. We've also got our eyes on the sunspots because even as the flare happy group departs on the south, we've got plenty more active regions to monitor for more flaring, and we'll be doing so. Looking next to the solar wind, folks, this might be as late as I've ever seen CMEs arrive compared to their forecasts, but somehow they hit with no less intensity. We reached level 3 storm conditions overnight, and I shudder to think how strong it would have been if they had arrived on time. Aurora were seen all the way to southern Arizona, which is preposterous again. And yes, folks, the ongoing and long-lasting solar storm conditions are what has juiced up Hurricane Milton major hurricane. This is why we've made several videos on solar forcing of hurricanes with dozens of papers on intensification during geomagnetic storms. Eye wall lightning wicked in the system and its forecasted motion has not changed. As Wednesday night moves into Thursday morning it will impact Florida. Eyes open folks, this is going to be bad. Lastly, the comet. This will be one of the more splendid sights on satellite in my entire history of watching, even if it's of virtually no risk to the Earth. It is coming between the Earth and the Sun and will never get close to our planet. In fact, it's already north of the solar system equator and is heading further north. But its trajectory will make it visible on SOHO for several more days. We'll be watching for sure. Also, folks, there's a fun learning event coming up at the ranch on October 12th. We're going to be having many educational classes there to go along with observer time. This one is helpful for many preppers, both the garden part and the foraging part. Link to the event is below. I will be out at the ranch today late morning to mid-afternoon. I'll be there for a Q&A after the garden and foraging class on the 12th. We've got plenty more on the schedule as well. Come see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.